Joining us here at ASCO 2011 to talk about a rare form of cancer that you may know by this fact. This is the type of tumor that Steve Jobs of Apple has. And joining us for this discussion, we're delighted to have with us Professor Eric Ramon from France. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for the invitation. I'm glad to have this presentation to be done uh, tomorrow in a HASCO meeting. Um, this will bring uh, the attention to uh, a wild community of uh, physicians on the result that we had with this phase three trial. So congratulations are in order. This man is the primary investigator on the phase three trial, which led to the recent FDA approval of Pfizer's Sutent for advanced pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, also known as patients net patients. So congratulations. How does that milestone feel for you? Well, I think it's a, a great opportunity first for the patient who will be suffering for this disease. Um, we have been able to demonstrate in this phase three trial uh, that patients who uh, are treated with sunitinib uh, for pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor may more than double their progression-free survival, which means that this will significantly delay uh, the progression of their tumor, getting some benefit from the treatment. I understand there are two forms of data being presented here at ASCO. What would they be? This will be an update of the data that we have been presenting last year. Uh, this will be an update focusing on the independent data monitoring uh, review of the CT scan of patients uh, and as well on the update of the overall survival benefit provided by sunitinib in this patient population. What is the short-term and long-term significance of your data? Well, for the short term, it, the, the independent uh, data uh, analysis um, looking at a CT scan is just uh, making a strong confirmation of the data that have been presenting last, presented last year. So it's showing that uh, tunitinib uh, gives 11.5 months uh, progression-free survival as compared to patients with placebo that had only 5 to 5 months uh, uh, progression-free survival. So this is a confirmation. What is really new is that the trend toward a benefit for overall survival that we observed very early uh, in this clinical trial has been uh, confirmed in this uh, updated analysis showing a trend of overall survival for the patient who are treated with sunitinib. I think it's a great information for the patient who are treated. Doctor, after years of no treatment options for PNET patients, now they have two choices, including sutent. How important a breakthrough is this? I think, yes. This is one of the most important uh, thing, as I say. Um, we now have a choice. Beyond chemotherapy, we can provide patients with targeted therapy that may substantially uh, uh, benefit for those patients. Uh, let's say it's, it's, it's really, uh, it's really a, a, a benefit having a normal treatment that can be given uh, daily to the patient instead of receiving uh, chemotherapy in an inpatient uh, clinic uh, for a couple of days. So um, this is already by itself a great benefit. On the top of that, the safety of the drug is quite fair as compared to the chemotherapy. Of course, there is uh, some side effect associated with the drug, but when we compare, actually, this is a very easy to manage side effect if we compare to the extended experience that we have with sunitinib in patients with kidney uh, cancer, for example. And finally, um, the great thing is that we prolong progression-free survival. We had some benefit on the overall survival, and this is with, without affecting the quality of life of patients. So we demonstrated in this phase three trial as well that we don't have any uh, detrimental effect on the quality of life. So the patient may benefit from the treatment without having uh, detrimental benefits of quality of life. If we compare to uh, the past treatment, I guess this, this is a good progress as well. So on the heels of this FDA approval, where does your research go from here? Well, this research will continue and there will be uh, other indications that will be sick uh, with this uh, new uh, uh, drug. Uh, there is a number of tumors that may benefit from anti-angiogenic treatment, uh, such as sunitinib. So the mechanism of action of the drug is providing uh, a great hope in many other indications. Uh, we are actually running uh, other trials and there will be um, many uh, clinical trials that will be run uh, over the, the world, I guess, uh, based on the data that we provided that will probably extend actually uh, the current indication of the drug. 
Professor, again, congratulations. I'm sure you'll take a little time to celebrate and then get back to work. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being with us.